what you're about to see contains people that do not exist. G'day guys, it's Dre here, and today we are doing a video, of course, inspired by Jacksepticeye, the legend, the Gaelic boy himself. He did a video of this website called This Person Does Not Exist. That is right, every person you're going to see on screen does not actually exist, it is all computer generated by the, what it says down here in the white little thing. You can learn how it works down on clicking the link just here, it is done by multiple different accounts. But here we go. So this is not a real person, this is all animated. You can kind of tell here like with the ears and a little bit with the mouth, but if you like quickly look past, I don't think you could really tell awfully that much. And that's quite scary to think about. So let's just look at a couple of them. Okay. Clearly we had some difficulty with rendering in this one. And here, cause that's a glasses frame. That didn't even even touch what happened down here? I didn't even see that. That's not a neck. What is this? This is just a bad one. No, 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 no. That's a monstrosity. Get it out of here. Okay. This actually looks pretty good. Minus, like, hair and shoomed tattoo. This isn't awfully bad. Like, yeah, the eye kind of stuffs up a little bit here. But, I mean, overall, it's actually pretty good. It's also weird, because, like, the more you stare at these things, the more you realize, like, how unreal they are but like real at the same time it's very creepy so again if we ignore the earrings her face itself is very very real it's quite daunting like yeah if we ignore the background which they seem to struggle with a fair bit looking at the face only it seems very realistic I don't like it what if I'm not real what if I'm just like imaginary this just seems like a very like 80s makeup and overexposed photo again get rid of the hair if you look just solely at like the face I could believe that's a real human like with some like 80s makeup I believe that <laughs> this just looks like someone who'd be running for like a politician you know with like the sweat bead all over him looking real stressed looks like he bites his lip and he just you know his hair is a mess I could see this as a real human being. I reckon his name would be Todd. Straight up. I'm gonna give these people like descriptions and stuff like that. You have two different eye colors. Mad respect, but like, that's cool. That's not an earring, that's hair. What is all of this section going on? This is a mess. You just look like a mother who hasn't slept in a while. It's just like, I'm fine, Janet. I'm great. Just. Give me my coffee! Ah. That's how I imagine her. Okay. See, like, I could see this as real because this, like, just looks like water droplet. Like, almost like there's a water droplet on the lens when it was taken. Or, like, they're just soaked in water. This is the only part I probably couldn't believe in. If you fix that, I'd probably believe in the rest. They look like, you know, they're up in the mountains. Yeah, fix, just fix this part. You know, they're, like, up in the mountains and they're getting their snow on. And she's just, or oh, this person's like, you know what? Yes. I conquered that mountain. But take a photo of me and not the mountain. Because I'm cool. And I'm going on Instagram. <laughs> this looks like... Just... Again, the neck. Unless it's a necklace, which I very much doubt. I can believe the rest. The eye's a little wonky in this one. But I mean, I can see this. And, and the hair there. But I could see this person being like an IT person who's just like did the whole like selfie for their like their photo ID card and this would be like a David. I could see that for sure. So again, just to preface, none of this is real. Like this was all computer generated, so there's obviously gonna be glitches here and there. They clearly don't know how to do backgrounds and stuff like that, but just imagining that this is all computer generated is quite terrifying. Because we've already learned about deep faces a lot more from the Shane Dawson documentary. And now to see stuff like this is really scary because you could make up any face. And who knows? With technology nowadays, it's not that hard to make a mask. And now we have technology like this that can make a different human being. That doesn't even exist. That's terrifying. Someone could have a different face every single day. And that's the worst part. This just looks like your happy neighbor, by the way. <laughs> just in case. Lindsay and I. 
See, if this was not here, I could believe this to be like a person who's kind of watching a footy game, maybe supporting their boo, like, you know, this is like a Chantel, but like, she don't tell nothing, you know? See, now this is like, I think the best one yet, again, ignoring backgroundy details, like, even this, I could be like, yeah, maybe that's a tattoo or something like that, like, face overall, absolutely phenomenal job. This is just like, some elderly guy who's like, you know what, I still run a company, but I got grandkids and they're living their best life and I'm about to kill y'all. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. This looks like it's just some average college kid with weird part here and their hat. The hat is messed up. If that was a logo, I'd be like, yeah, cool. It just, this one's very pixelated, you can tell for sure. We'll do three more. Again, this, again, if you ignore this part of the photo, this looks like just some family man who's, you know, they even put like the little square, like there's a flash going on. That just looks like a family man trying to take a photo with his wife and children. It just seems really cool. I'm so confused what's happening up here. I think that's like a bonnet. And this is weird over here. But like her face, it's giving me a really creepy vibe because there's all these like purple hues. It's really creeping me out. I don't like it. The hair connects to the eyebrow. Do you look like some someone's like young auntie or like, you know, woman in her like thirties who's just having a grand time, who's seen a bit of the sun here and there, who has glasses that fade into different quantum realms, like she's living her best life. And she's just trying to be a cool kid. That's what I see. And that is all I see with this. The website is called This Person Doesn't Exist. If you want to go check it out, just search up This Person Doesn't Exist. Or hit your microphone like I just did and it will magically appear. You know, you can do that. Oh, power Jacksepticeye. This person doesn't exist and it will reappear. <laughs> anyway, if you want to know about how it works, just click on the little link at the bottom part. If you bring up This Person Doesn't Exist, it should be right about here. Click on it and it should just bring you up to how it works. So we're going to do that a little bit. So let's have a quick look. I'm not going to go into detail. Again, if you want to go into detail, check it out for yourself. But basically, the basic components of the GAN or two two neutral networks. A generator that synthesizes new samples for, from scratch and a discriminator that takes samples from both the trained data and the generator's output and predicts if they are real or fake. The generator inputs is a random vector noise, therefore it is. So it basically takes coding and real photos and mishes them together into creating a new human. That's the gist of it. Again, if you want to go more into detail, go ahead and read it yourself. It's super duper fascinating. But again, if you definitely want to read it, go check it out. Yeah, it's just called This Person Does Not Exist. And we'll do one last little refresh. And here's this dude who looks like he's in a wannabe Disneyland. But yeah. Anyway, dry out, guys, in the next video. Also, quickly, let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. Because it's a little creepy. Anyway, Gerard says in the next video, whoops, sorry guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, gals, and non-binary pals. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. In the next video, bye-bye. See ya. This is very much creeping me out, and I don't like it. Guess what?